back to the Hip Hop Report. I'm your host, Rambo Hustle, and today is a very special day. Not just because it's game day, but also because it's the day of the release of J. Cole's fifth studio album, K.O.D. Kids on Drugs, King Overdose, and Kill Our Demons comes in. In the first four records, it seems to be more focused on kids on drugs and the addictions. Uh, hard 808 hitting, hard kicks, hard flow, hard delivery, where J. Cole is taking you into the mind of a user. It seems like he's going down the darker path and really indulging to suppress his emotional state. I think at this time, it's really addressing kids on drugs as well as photograph, seem to address the idea of addiction to social media, to pills, to weed, to alcohol, and just a lifestyle in its Self. Uh, shortly after that we get the cutoff which seems to be J. Cole evoking the idea and the mentality of the drug in itself where it's questioning the user and saying you used to need me I provided for you why aren't you using me anymore come back I got your back you know this sets it up perfectly for King Overdose we're not going to focus on the drugs anymore we're going to now obsess over the next societal norm which is money and that's where you get ATM, and that's where you get Motivate. We can't take it with us, but we can't live without it. We can't take it with us, but we can't live without it. Those two records seem to be kind of the, the, the landscape. So you have your addiction to drugs, your addiction to social media, the question whether you want to continue down this path, and then the ultimate tangent from that addictive, drug-infused personality into what is now money. And once everything falls down, he seems to go right into Kevin's heart, which I think is the direct metaphor and correlation into the actor, comedian Kevin Hart. He's using that as a metaphor to say this is how money, fame, drugs, addiction, and these other things that don't really fulfill your heart can lead you astray and make you a lost person. At this point of the album, is when we start merging into kill our demons and where he starts merging out of the drug infused lifestyle that he's been leading uh, whether that's relevant to J. Cole himself or he's actually embodying what he sees in the culture today I think that's really up to interpretation until this point it doesn't sound like the normal J. Cole. It sounds like he's using different tones to kind of deliver his message in a way that doesn't seem as familiar as the J. Cole that we're used to. It doesn't seem clear. It seems kind of like disrupted or distracted maybe. Brackets, which I think is an amazing record, uh, very deep, very poignant, and, and really addresses a lot of social issues that we have and a lot of the reasons that people um, question our society and where we're at in regards to politics, politicians, and how our system works as a whole. Why can't I, you know, have an app on my phone that I can choose where where, where my money goes? Why can't I do that? Why, why do I have to just send this money to these crooked politicians who I've never met who may or may not be doing things that I would agree with with my money? I think Once an Addict is the first time that we hear J. Cole really come in as himself because I think everything before that, his voice seems a little bit different. He seems to be giving us a little bit different tone and emotion with his voice and his delivery as to where at the end of it, it seems to have a little bit more clarity and he seems to sound like old, like, like old J. Cole, old Jermaine and really comes back to life where he's giving you a clear voice with a clear message and it seems to be a lot more intuitive to the social norms that we are accustomed to J. Cole carrying. Shortly after his reality check and trying to balance himself out, we get into a record called Friends, featuring, of course, Kill Edward, which is just the alter personality of J. Cole, you know, usually very straight edge, positive, and socially aware um, persona. Kill Edward seems to be almost like what's driving him back to the drug use and back to his habits and back to his old ways. Meditate, don't medicate, which ironically today being 420, I think a lot of people will be medicating and not meditating, or maybe you'll be doing both. Nonetheless, I think it's an important piece of the project because it really breaks down the idea that maybe it's better for you not to change your dynamics of where your mind is and your thought process and how your mind is operating, but it's better just to step away from 
the hecticness of your day to day life and really zero in on who your heart and your mind is telling you that you need to be. He's telling you the story of his observations of his environment and not so much being a part of it or engaging in that lifestyle per se. Now, after Window Pain, the record KOD closes out with 1985 the intro to Fallout. It does seem to have a target here, and I don't want to make any speculations because I know it's the first day that the album's out. However, I do feel like the speculations could relate to the idea of uh, Kanye West being this big superstar and being blinded by his uh, superstardom and not being true to himself or authentic to where he's from and what he's supposed to be delivering. Overall, I think KLD is an amazing project if you're a J. Cole fan. If you're going to listen to it and you're not into that style of music, then I don't expect you to be into it. And I wouldn't even invest any time trying to bash the album because you knew going into it that you weren't into lyrics. Again, guys, this is Ramble Hustle with the Hip Hop Report. This is our J. Cole KLD review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come down. Make sure you subscribe. Leave your comments below. Let us know what your favorite records are, what you thought of the album, and more importantly what you thought 1985 was about who is he talking about is he taking shots at Kanye is Kanye gonna come out and take shots back at J. Cole is this why he named his group with Kid Cudi kids see ghost is there some sort of implication or some sort of metaphor behind that idea that he's going to bring out on June 1st for his album I guess we'll wait and see hip-hop report ramble hustle peace Back up on my bullshit like I'm asking my